Rob, uh, a new year brings a change of scenery for one of your players, Kai Horseman. Uh, he's going to move upstairs in the office with us a lot. So um, just reflect on Kai's contribution since he's come to the club. Yeah, oh, I mean, Kai's been fantastic. He's been one of the real real drivers of what we've wanted to achieve here amongst the amongst the playing squad and the playing group. And obviously, he's capped that off with playing very well himself. And obviously, you know, when you actually look at Kai's career, for him to have spent as long as he did playing you know, kind of at Worcester and probably battling relegation for most of the time he was there, to then, you know, and he's not ended his career yet, so I'm not going to say he's ended yet, but uh, in the twilight of his career to then be able to start in the final, a winning final uh, at Twickenham in our first Premiership um, winning season is a fantastic testament to both how hard he's trained and played, but also how important a member of the squad he's been. You talk about what he's brought to you on the field, but off the field, he's an integral part of that changing room, isn't he? That's right, and I think that's probably why it feels, for me, from my end, from the playing side, so comfortable for him to be moving into a, uh, a senior role here at the club, because obviously the link between what happens right through all the layers from the board, through the office staff, uh, to the senior coaching staff, to the players, to the academy, etc., is very important. And the whole, um, the kind of whole cultural link up of that you know, is what makes us a very good club. And I think we, we work very hard at it and we don't take it for granted. And I think Kai is someone who will fit fantastically into that. Um, he's only kind of going to go part-time to start with, so he'll still be, a, he'll still be a, an available member of the playing squad for the next until the end of the season, as long as the, the two roles can be combined sufficiently. But I think it's a, a great opportunity for Kai. I think be, it was a role that he'll feel very, very well. And I think people will really enjoy working with Kai and getting to know the club, um, not just in the... You know, the corporate side, but also down to the playing side through what Kai will be able, the experiences that Kai will be able to bring. I was going to say, he's, quite often he's, a, he's deemed underrated in terms mm. of the back row and what he brings. He's, he brings a real, not only just experience, but real yeah. character and guts in there for you. Yeah, and I think Kai's he's been probably underused this year, uh, having had a couple of injuries, a couple of calf issues. He's over that now, so there's still opportunities for him playing some important games going forward. But I think, as I say, you look at last year, you the number of big games, the big performances he was involved with, you know, right up to his. Um, playing in the final, and that's an indicator of, of how hard he's trained and how well he's looked after himself, and and like I said, and the, and the qualities he's brought day by day. Because there's been plenty of times for Kai when he's been here that, you know, it, it's not been easy for him. You know, he picked up a, a couple of very significant injuries when he first arrived here. They could have stopped a lot of players in their tracks. He worked very hard through his rehab period. Um, when he's not been in the side, he's been one of the guys who've driven the quality of what the non-23 do. Um, and that's really what, in the end, created him, created all the opportunities for him. The opportunities for him to play in the first team all came about because he earned them and he deserved them, and it was easy to select him because of those. Um, and I think that's a great, um, a, a great lesson for the players who've been in and around him to, to have learned from him. Mm -hmm.